We begin with an update on a story we first told you about last night. Officials say two teens have died after a car crash just south of Monroe. Another teen still in critical condition tonight. Our Chris Gothner was there as friends mourned their loss. Flowers and candles have been placed at the rural Green County intersection where two Monroe High School students lost their lives yesterday. They were liked by many. Monroe sophomore Megan Meyer is one of many classmates grieving the loss of two friends today. It's just hard to see something happen so fast to people we love. Monroe High School's parking lot full of cars this morning as the district offered grief counseling. The heartache palpable as a community mourns. We're all like a big family and it's just classmates and loving and we all love each other. A lot of empathy for the families and just trying to come together and grieve together. Sergeant Britt Gempler was one of the Greene County deputies at the scene yesterday afternoon. He says the crash happened at around 2.20 at the intersection of Melvin and Clarno Road, south of Monroe in the town of Clarno. We initially started, found was a westbound sedan, was westbound, failed to stop at a stop sign, and a northbound uh, suburban then um, collided with that vehicle. Deputies say the teens were in that sedan, and in addition to the two dead, a third is in critical condition. The 35-year-old rural Monroe woman driving the SUV is also in critical condition tonight. Today, Megan Meyer says for her and other classmates, it'll be hard going back to school without two beloved friends. I'm going to miss both of them very much. The Monroe School District plans to hold a candlelight vigil tonight at 7 p.m. downtown to remember the two teens. In the town of Clarno, Chris Gothner, WISC News 3. Deputies have not released the names of those involved in that crash pending notification of their families. We'll have more on the vigil for those victims tonight at 10.